Champions League is is huge. I'd say it's the biggest competition in Europe. You get to compare yourself amongst the best teams in the world. And headed in by Dudek. Everything's very different from country to country, whether you're playing a Spanish team or an English team, it all changes everything. It's super cool to, to just enter a competition like that where you have the ability to play multiple teams from around the world and you get to see truly who the best team in the world at that time is. Welcome to the Copa Gorges Votlich, home of the 18 time Icelandic champions Breidavik, who tonight host Paris Saint Germain on match day one in UEFA Women's Champions League Group B. Watching the game uh, and even speaking to some of my teammates, they were telling me how cold it was and it's really windy. And I remember those conditions, which it's really difficult to play in but we were ready, we knew what to expect. And it slips into the back of the net by Khalifi. I think it shows our um, resiliency. Every game is going to be difficult. Um, a lot of teams from all over Europe uh, have a lot of quality, a lot of top players. For us, uh, we're going into every game to win, um, and we know it's not always going to be um, a blowout score of like 4-0, 5-0. In a competition like Champions League, um, it's a very high level and you have to be um, switched on for 90 plus minutes. And finally, in the dying seconds, PSG have secured the points on match day one. We're happy to get the result because it's not always easy to play in those conditions. They were made to work ever so hard. A win was essential, a win was expected. It didn't come easy. The first ever home Champions League group match for the Rouge et Bleu. PSG top the group. They are group favourites and they are among the teams with a realistic chance of making it all the way to the final. We didn't really know what to expect really going into it. Like we had analysed the team, but you know, when you're playing a team who you've never played before and, and from a different country, you'd never really know. So much expectancy on the home side. Can they handle the pressure? It was an exciting game, I think, for, for everyone. We wanted to go in and, and continue scoring lots of goals. Um, and we did exactly that. With Tima on her first start of the season. Backman goes for goal onto the bar and headed in by Huitema, who has a second of the game. Has Huitema lurking in there and she has a hat trick. She made it look so simple. The team had a great performance all around and it was exciting obviously to get the hat trick and but I think all around the team performance was was amazing that night. Five goals for the hosts on a historic evening from minute to minute, from the first whistle to the last whistle was perfect. When you can taste the atmosphere and it feels like a special European night. The moment when we play at Parc des Princes, it was like a lot of supporters, like the, the atmosphere during the whole game was, was incredible. For each person uh, issue de, de la région parisienne, I think it's a un rêve de pouvoir jouer au Parc des Princes. Bah, moi, enfin, sachant que ça fait, ça fait longtemps que je suis au PSG, moi, c'était une fierté uh, de pouvoir faire, uh, bah, des, surtout un grand match en Champions League. Je pense que c'est pas donné à tout le monde, mais encore plus au Parc des Princes. Et ouais, enfin, j'étais fier et, et content. Saint-Germain at the Parc de France hosting Real Madrid as they battle it out to go out right top at the midway stage. No matter what team we're playing, we're going out with the same mentality. That speaks volumes uh, of our club, of our team, of what we stand for. We're very ambitious. Katoto could be in here, should be in here, is in here. Every group is difficult. Playing against top teams in Europe, Every team poses different problems, and so I think it's a lot of um, credit to us for how we were able to impose our game on other teams. They're off again, PSG. Andy to aim for in the center, and tapped in by De Brits. De Brits over this corner. And it ends in a goal. 
And that sums up this evening for the Spanish runners-up. We played a really good game and we won a 4-0. Three points comfortably secured and they head top, clear top of Group B. I'd say from front to back our team is very solid. Like we have a lot of depth and in Champions League we haven't gotten a single goal scored against us. So I think it starts from the back and how strong our back line is and how strong our team is defensively as well. Bien sûr, en tout cas, en tant que défenseur, on n'aime pas se prendre des buts, donc, donc on, fait, on fait le nécessaire pour ne pas s'en prendre. Paris Saint-Germain, this would be an extraordinary season for them to maybe go all the way. We have so much depth on our team, and um, starting lineup, uh, we had a lot of young players like Lorena Fazer scoring that amazing goal. Super goal, Lorena Fazer. What a moment to shine in the Champions League. First ever senior goal. J'ai été prise par les émotions. Ben, je me rappelais. Enfin, j'ai marqué, mais enfin, j'en revenais pas. Et ouais, enfin, c'est quand les filles m'ont serré dans les bras que j'arrivais à pouvoir réaliser que j'avais marqué. Just seeing the performances from these players shows a lot um, about the club about the investment in players and the development. Overall, throughout the group stage, it was really cool to see a lot of players stepping up and knowing that we can count on any of these players because as we go further throughout this competition, um, it's not just the starting 11. We need the entire group. We need players off the bench that are gonna come on the field and make a difference. And we, we showed that throughout the group stage. Saint-Germain already know they've qualified for the knockout stages, hoping to continue their flawless campaign so far. Little back hill chance for Backman to release the shot to give Paris Saint-Germain the lead. Lawrence with the ball in, oh, that's headed in. She adds to the goals for Paris Saint-Germain. We want to be the winners this year. And that's of course our goal. And and it was right in our grasp last season. And, and now it's we're right on the right track this season. So all we can do is continue to push. And we've been pushing in training and in games and it's showing in results. So I think that this season we have a really good opportunity to, to go all the way. And it's goal number four. It's each joue comme comme elle sait faire on, on peut faire de belles choses donc euh, bien sûr c'est l'objectif cette année Luana steps up she gets the fifth of the night we have a lot of confidence um, but it was also hard work it was a lot of work put in um, to get those results it wasn't easy Lawrence she cuts in she goes for the effort it's spilt and it'll be tapped in for goal number six I'd say it was perfect for us we scored a lot of goals and didn't let one in and I'd say that's pretty perfect the French side go through to the knockout stages, having scored 25 goals in the group and having not conceded any in reply. If we're able to sustain those performances with players scoring goals, um, defensively not conceding and remaining just focused, um, yeah, we're going to go far in this competition. <laughs>